both super tight and they, they, they hail from the same region and are crew mates on TR. Anyhow, jumping into the set, PS2, once again, the stage of choice for both of these players and numbers get not just... Zerosuna is just going to get hit by that raw tornado, but Numbers is unable to follow up on it. The down throw into up air, backing up already 62%. Uh, 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 geez. I can't believe he keeps, he's still going with the, the Mii Sword Fighter. Perhaps it's a lot more a lot more consistent to reflect items, or reflect projectiles. That's exactly why. It's just when he has to deal with projectile-based characters, he likes having a reflector and, like, his own projectiles to make space. That and, makes sense. And additionally, the disjoints on Mii Sword Fighter make it very, very easy to punish Zelda for her neutral be a character like Mii Sword Fighter, who's a lot more up close and personal and is projectile based. It's going to be very, very difficult to fight Zelda, who has such a menacing reflector. But um, I'm, I'm surprised that numbers didn't die earlier. Now, I'm beginning to really respect the range on Mii Sword Fighter's up air, because even if he is just short hopping it, Okay, yeah, we got get some reflectors out. But even when he's just short hopping it, that is still comboing out of up tilt. Even at like he was at like 80 when that happened. Yep. Oh, he rolled he did a double roll there, which prevented him from getting the punish on the up smash, but he's not allowing uh Fear to none to win like he did against Falls, which is uh Din's fire. Oh, just a down tilt in order to catch the dash back. Thank you, Disjoint. Ooh, and Numbers is ready for those cross puppies, and that's definitely a habit that Zeratina has to work on. He always wants to go for the aggressive recovery. The f -club, not enough to take it out quite yet. He has to find a way to get back reliably. The spot dodge off through the auto-cancel back air. And you see that fourth throw. Catching the jump up with the up smash. That was a really great commitment from Zeratina. Obviously, the read working out for them quite well there. Um, and that's something to be very, very careful of um, whenever the uh, Misoi fighter is using, I mean Zelda is using a down B from below the stage like that, Numbers is ready with the reflect, but unfortunately not being able to get it quite then. And here we see the John Numbers classic, I don't care what percent you're on, I'm just going to grab you and throw you back off stage and eventually you'll die yep. one way or another. Because if I'm throwing at 100 million shotguns, you are eventually going to mess up and get hit by one. Nobody has the patience to... I mean, that is essentially the zone of mentality, right? Just, like, conditioning people to... Go. It went that way. Okay. I wonder if that was uh, that was cross-up DI. Intentional huh. or not, it does take the stock. And that's really, really solid. Because now, like, being a... When your opponent has such a high percentage, you see uh, John react a little bit to the uh, unfortunate uh, angle that I might have sent at. But yep. when your opponent has such a high percent, it can be really, really difficult to keep momentum in your favor since they're being launched just so far. But at low percent, you can start getting the combos that you practice and the strings that you practice. You can start getting those rolling, and that matters a whole lot yeah. more just in terms of uh, mentality. Um, right now, Zerutinan is just like, this is, both of them are like exchanging hits, but Zerutinan almost getting punished on it with Jonathan, Jonathan Numbers <laughs> having the right idea with the F smash. Um, Couple down tilts into the confirming into the up here. Like. I have never seen that before. I mean, right. it sounds good on in theory, but I can't help but think that maybe Zerutsuna could have reacted a little bit better with an air dodge or something. Yeah, just taking a little bit out of Link's book, I suppose. So I don't know how, how it interacts uh, similar, how the up -y is similar, different from Link's up -y. They look pretty much the same. Nor and, adult Link. Yep. And Zerutsuna getting hit with the classic Mii Sword Fighter bread and butter that neutral be into an up -y. Uh, right now, Zerutsuna has to find a way to get the stock, getting the bear, I believe the bear on his shield that was um, but not quite enough to take it. Is he going to go for an up throw? Not enough quite there either. Oh, Ooh, that was a really good dash, especially since he doesn't have his jump, but he didn't commit to anything off stage. I mean, that might just be a price of Zelda, but that was a really good mix-up. Yep. And I want to see maybe Zerutsuna employ the use of more like standing up be just up be back to where the position from which he came. What? Very nice job. Okay, John. <laughs> like, what, what's Zelda gonna do? Is she gonna run it? No. No. no there's nothing. Like, <laughs> the saddest part about Todd canceling is that you have to literally let your opponent, res you have to respect your opponent, Todd, take, because they'll just break out of it with anything at any given moment. That's absolutely hilarious. He had to respect his opponent disrespecting him. Yep. That's that's unfortunate. Huh. That's a really interesting way of putting it. <laughs> uh, Uzu getting the S Smash effectively knocking John off stage, setting up something with the Phantoms. Trying to catch it. Right, the Phantom was still around though, so it blocked that uh, that F smash that came so, in from zero to none. Zero to none intentionally used the reflected F smash to uh, to extend the hitbox, but the multi-hit returning chakram, the tilt, um, tilt form of the chakram, as he waits out the spot on yeah. in order to get that up tilt. 
Sorry, but, I cut you off. Yo, you, you totally got the. Oh. Not sure what happened though. Zero to none upbeat, but then upbeat in the complete wrong direction. So if you look there, right, Zero to none spot dodge. John got that with the up tilt. Then he upbeat. Oh, he re he flipped him. It, it, the reflector has the same properties as Mario huh. Cape. So he turned him around. Right, because it took the already and put it. That was beautiful. That was so nice. That was great from John. I love that. I've never seen him do that before against Zero Tenon, but he definitely took. Ah, oh, that was great. That was such good playing. Um, Yo, she's made like yes. Okay. Yeah. Loki. Loki. <laughs> this music I is love high, this stage. high key. <laughs> high key. Yeah. Uh, I I want this stage to be legal in every rule set because I think having three big stages in Town Callus and PS2 and three small yep. stages mm -hmm. in uh, Smashville, Battlefield, and Yoshi's Melee yep. makes for a lot more interesting stage play than just having like yep. two, or like three and two because then it's uneven and skewed towards big stages. Yep. But by having three and three, now you're not just picking, oh, based, a stage based on blast zones. You're picking a stage based on actual layout, stage size, platform layout or no platforms at all in the case of FD. Yep. So that makes for a lot more interesting in terms of counterpicking than just, oh, I banned, two, I banned the two small stages, or I guess we're going to one of the three big stages. Yep. But right now, I was surprised to see a little bit earlier that John was actually able to get up attack through the oh, Phantom. Yeah. <gasps> That's uh, tragic. That was really unfortunate on the part of John, but it's okay. If I'm reading lips right, I think he said that happened or what happened, so I... Your guess is as good as mine, John. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe he thought that his upbeat could reach without jumping, though I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, right now, uh, John is like, he needs to find a way to close out the stock. Of course, the disjointed fair is so, so good at doing just that. <gasps> oh, getting the okay. two frame, but unfortunately didn't connect into itself fully, only getting the few sour hits of the spike. Um, However illegitimate, a lead earned is a lead earned, and this is something that Zelda will definitely thrive with because she's able to keep people she's able to keep people on ledge with this Phantom and not have to worry about going in anytime soon. And what I really oh, want to see is Zero Tenon maybe do a little bit more because right now he's conditioned John to reflect his Jin's fire. I want to see if he can maybe try to punish him for recovering low afterwards because if he's going to reflect, he's then he's going to sink out low to recover. So now that he's got that like telegraphed, I wonder if he can properly capitalize it in time. Ooh, the back is out of shield, just knocking him so far off the stage. Speaking of going low, but he digs right back up with that uh, with that hero spin, I think it's yep. called. Oh no, that's the that's the Lynx one. And me sort of fighting against get very upset when you call it that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought it, I, it has a name, I just don't know yeah, it. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> uh, regardless, right now, um, John Ambu is slowly bringing us back right now, 93%. If he's gonna get whacked off stage, I'm surprised it's not gonna go through like a grab or something. Though. Yeah, he just dashed right away, per yep. perhaps expecting a roll, another reflector coming out from the Or maybe numbers. an up the out of shield or something. Yeah. Because that would have been quite menacing. We see the percent getting built up slowly and slowly. John with his trademark, like, just that, like, holding, not holding back, but making sure he's giving you as little space as possible, and then giving you space yeah. in order to uh, outrange you. And John has to be so Dashing careful back. when he's committing to those reflectors, especially when he's at kill percent, because Zero to None can just charge the Phantom, wait for the reflector, and then shoot him back. So right now, for numbers, it's not that big of a deal quite yet, because you know he is at 0%, but a little bit earlier, he would have he would have died to the Phantom. So maybe it would have been better to go for a more traditional escape option, just to jump, or maybe just to even hold shield, perhaps. But right now, Zutsuna is finding a way to come back. I love the fact that he drifted out, but... Oh, numbers. Okay, he didn't die from that, so that's genius. Because yeah. he knew he he knew he drifted too far, so he got the hit in and hung right with yeah. John as he upbeat out. Now, he died there, but... He got so much mileage off of that upbeat when he would have honestly just upbeat back to stage and still got back. Oh, everything about that exchange, if it was intentional, of course, yeah, was <laughs> was phenomenal. Um, but right now, John bringing it back with the down tilt into a Florida. Right now, 40% slowly building it up, and John has to be attentive of the fact that Zero to None can whip punish him on the chakra at any given moment in time. Good. It's a good on Zero to None to not just like hit him with the uh, hit him with the teleport, but make sure he's in holding a direction as, as the teleport is coming in, so he yep. influences the direction that. You know what? Upbeat. You know what? Never mind. A uh, stage like Yoshi's story. Upbeat yeah, makes is... sense. Wow. Um. <laughs> oh, it's best of five. Right. Yeah, it is best of five. So, 
if Zygotsen wants to bring this back, he has to take nine stocks back to back. He has to win three games without even dropping one. So this is going to be super, super difficult. Um, right now going into game three, they're running it back to Yoshi Story. And honestly, Yoshi Story did not work out for Zygotsen in the one instance where he did die so early to up B. I'm not sure if that would have been the case on other stages. Of course, grab armoring through that. And again, people are not dying out on the down throw. Guys, please DI out on the down throw so you don't take 35%. Please. Please, bro. DI on the... Okay, or, or he just hits it raw. That's fine, too. And the momentum on the set right now is just like super, super different. Zygotsen are taking a really, really early stock lead. Now and that would not have worked on any other stage because John was a little bit lower when he did the rising aerial. The F smash was able to connect. Slants are fine. He, he played around the slants and slants are fine. Yep. <laughs> All right. Up to into Nair. The Nair Ooh. fully connects into the into a straight dash attack, and here we see zero to none either. A down tilt into a drop down. Fit. Okay. That was, was nice. He's already at three stocks to one within a first minute, taking out those stocks so quickly. And John didn't even like SD like he did game two. So right now this phenomenal play coming from Zoots and I'm definitely making the most out of the tools that Zelda has to offer. All of link through the down air. And the big the big change that I see here, oh also, wow that smells good. <laughs> the big change that I see here is Zero to None not just playing the passive game, not playing at numbers pace. And ah. it's what he's doing, despite missing the teleport there, is he's tr every time Numbers is going off stage, seeing how comfortable he is going low, going high, changing up his angles, uh, holding down even in order to snipe with the uh, yep. snipe with recovery. He's trying to kill him when he's off stage. He's not letting him sit out there all calm like, like nope. Ooh, ooh, great poke from John Numbers, making sure he's using the most out of his tilts there. Because if Zelda's charging a phantom right in front of you, hit her. Please. Please. <laughs> um, ooh, I love that from Zygotsan. He was just like anticipating the reflect and able to punish in the time. So I could, yeah. Wow. And guys, remember, it's not Zelda's toes that's the sweet spot. It's the, uh, it's the ankle. It's the ankle. It's the ankle, yeah. Craigasm. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <laughs> Thanks, Devin, for that really insightful and uh, helpful comment. Uh, the stream is now. Anytime. <laughs> And uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Devin3000 always orders himself some delicious food while he's out there on like making managing the stream. So while us commentators are, are forced to to speak for hours for hours on end, we just get to smell all the delicious smells behind the scenes. I'm just kidding. I love you, Devin. Anyhow, for game don't want some water, hon. <laughs> I would actually. I have a water <laughs> bottle you. in my bag. God. <laughs> for game four, uh, already Zerutsan. Wow, getting so much off of those big meaty aerials. A fair, fair, and an up air. Thank you, Devin. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> All right, uh, Battlefield. By the way, uh, similar similar to Yoshi's story, but different in a, a, a couple key ways. The first one, obvious, no slants, no walls. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one, I like to I like to point out to a lot of people, the space between the center platform and yeah. the other two, that like middle area right there, uh, is smaller than on Yoshi's Story. So yeah. it makes stage control a lot harder to gain and a lot easier to keep. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool because he two, either he two framed him or zeroed him and held yeah. down. And uh, caught him with that. Uh, Either way, it worked and closed off the stock. But it's surprising that after all of those big hits, that um, Numbers is still able to come back from it, uh, sitting at 106%. So unless he gets hit, thank you, Devin. Thank you, if Devin. Again, if he doesn't get hit with like a raw up or like one of those up smashes, he's like able to like definitely start going in on uh, Zero to Dun. I'm surprised that the returning shock him didn't actually hit him, and the reflecting was just a little bit too early, I believe. Alright, yeah, here, making, baiting out the roll with the shield on the platform, but the Phantom coming through with its own strong hitbox in order to swat him away and slice yep. him in half, or whatever synonym you want to use for taking a stock. Oh, and Zootsin are just like taking John's down through and like, you know what, I know you're going to jump in and try to follow up, I'm going to forward you instead for it. Did, um, did the fair do 25? Yes, yeah, sir. So okay, good to know. I hope, you, I hope you're happy. Yeah, no, I just didn't, I never knew. Yep. <laughs> Um, and I'm really curious if like the stagnating shock um, is actually an active hitbox when it's just stuck or it's purely aesthetic. Look at the Zutan getting back onto stage. Um, <gasps> almost. Okay, he teleported right in the, in order to after the after getting swatted away. Uh, 
Sparkling right now. Zero Tonight getting a really good dash attack. Real Sodic stage control for himself right now. Trying to either jump in with the soft down air, which would have comboed into the Phantom. But couple, right now. Couple aerials on shield, but not getting any mileage. The, that Chakram is an active hitbox, I think, except for when it turns around. Mm. Are you dead? What? Yeah, you're dead. He got the soft down air, I believe. It was something yeah. along those lines. Regardless. Ooh, and great uh, reflector because John had to keep up track of so many things that he had to keep track of the knight, he had to keep track of Zelda. And so I, I just feel I I feel like that was a great option for this and just to quickly get himself stage and control again. For, for sure. Yeah, John is retreating back into his earlier game plan of like as soon as you if you throw out Phantom, I'm gonna hit you with this Chakram. Uh, though there is a way for Zelda to put the Phantom in front of yep. her in order to block projectiles and think you need to wave bounce it. Uh, some complicated Zelda ta uh, attack <laughs> that happens a lot. And now, just as it was Zero to None's lead and then John's lead, and John is now reasserting it for himself. Zero to None trying to get the check chase with the Phantom, but a little bit too late on it. John needs to watch these rolls. Like, he's he's rolled back a couple, like, a lot more frequently in this game than he has for the rest of the set. So. And that was oh. really, really great patience from John at ledge there, just like with punishing the up smash, knowing that no phantom was going to hit him or anything. And only characters like me, Soul Fighters, can do that because they have the forward or disjoint range to be able to actually space and punish it. Watch out, down tilt. And we see the teleport coming out from Zero to None again. He has to, he has to watch that. Uh, gaining back a lot of the, that percent differential with that uh, those, forward, uh, forward air. air. His forward aerial, if you don't mind the poor reference. Um. <laughs> Regardless, Zero to None going, again, like, John has to be super, super attentive of his spacing with the uh, side Bs, because if he commits to it too much, Zero to None can basically up B him to flee. That was a good release on Zero to None, making sure that he sends out uh, the Phantom, uh, sending out that Phantom at, at its, uh, just before it's fully charged in order to hit hit numbers as he this threw the This is a chakra. really, really close game, and that That's is going not, not to be the stock no. quite yet. Um, four days, of course, only going to kill towards the edge of the stage as it has quite a fair amount of set knockback, but not so much to finish. <gasps> yeah, plus it sends at a really bad angle for killing right to the corner of, this, uh, of the blast zone. Okay, the double roll and back. back here. <laughs> yeah. And that is going to take it 3-1 for John Number is almost dropping that last game. Uh, that was a little too tense. It's very... <laughs> it was close. Yep. There's not a whole lot to say except... I feel like Zigatana was maybe in the early in the set a little bit over committing to those uppies and then getting with punish for them. Um, and a couple of times he would yep. fall back into the into that habit. A couple of teleports yep. across the stage that were a little bit risky to mm -hmm. say the least. Though he did pick his spots a yep. whole lot better later in that game.